Okay, welcome to the Bookmap Platform Details webinar. This is Bruce at Bookmap. Risk disclaimer, trading equities and futures involves substantial risk of loss and is not suitable for all investors. Past performance is not necessarily indicative of future results. Uh, go to bookmap.com for more information. Uh, and there is a free trial, a 14 day free trial of the product. It comes with education. Okay, you get access to the Bookmap educational course. It's four part uh, series. And uh, then you also get access to the advanced order flow uh, webinars uh, in the live market. Uh, and uh, that starts at uh, 11 o'clock, so in about uh, 30 minutes. Uh, these webinars um, go over in detail in the live market the content that we go through uh, in the educational course. So learn about it in the course and then uh, learn about it in the live market. Uh, that supports that educational course with the advanced order flow uh, analysis webinars. Okay, there are some other resources as well that you receive. <clears throat> if you have any questions, uh, go to support at bookmap.com and email us. Uh, let's take a look at the website here. Okay, so just uh, scroll down a bit. There's an intro video here. Just going to go through it quickly for you guys. Uh, and um, uh, a couple of minutes long just goes through the basics of what bookmap is uh, a bit further down about bookmap uh, some of the uh, text here understanding the benefits uh, and the platform etc uh, a bit further down uh, here's a data feed for uh, nasdaq total view okay you can also access not only futures but uh, equities u.s equities all u.s equities uh, in bookmap okay through nasdaq total view uh, it's through Dev Experts, uh, really great data feed. Um, let me get into it uh, a bit further down and cover the connectivity to the futures markets as well. Okay, so uh, Bookmap is a true platform. Okay, you can connect your data directly with CQG, Rhythmic, Gain Capital, IQ Feed, Transact, uh, and uh, also uh, Dev Experts for for Nasdaq and and uh, U.S. equities. Um, now, there's three platforms here as well. Uh, we are a platform just like they are, NinjaTrader, TTX Trader Pro, and Interactive Brokers Trader Workstation. We also connect via the API of these three platforms, okay? But we are a platform just like they are. Um, the uh, Something uh, new here, and I'll be able to show it to you guys uh, today, um, is uh, not only do we have uh, connectivity now this is going to change here in the next month uh, or in about a month it's not only to the futures and the US equities but we're going to offer a cryptocurrency connection okay uh, I have some things to show you so uh, I think uh, you really in enjoy that and um, let's uh, uh, go a bit further down here pricing uh, this is where you can find bookmap for the 14-day trial period uh, there's Bookmap Basic, Advanced, and Quant. Basic is $49 per month. It is billed quarterly. Okay, you get the 14-day trial. Uh, and then Bookmap Advanced is $99 per month, billed quarterly. All right, and uh, the difference between these two are the, the add-on features, okay, different features. So the ability to trade right from the chart. Okay, great feature. Uh, you can see the evolution of all of your trading activity. It's all recorded. If you, if you move uh, your stop or your, your take profit, um, uh, that will be recorded uh, in Bookmap. And uh, you can see everything. What's so great about it as well is then you can use it in replay mode and debrief all of your trading activity. Uh, and then using it in the live market, well, you've got the heat map right in front of you. So you can front run high liquidity uh, with uh, your uh, entry orders. Uh, and then you can manage your stops um, uh, behind large areas of liquidity, okay? So uh, uh, offering uh, more, much more optimized uh, uh, trading and um, uh, yeah, it's a, it definitely a, an advantage here. Um, there's also, uh, we also identify larger players with some of the uh, proprietary indicators that we have developed. The large lot tracker identifies players in the order book that are holding the majority of the liquidity Okay. We also have the uh, iceberg detector. So those larger players that are using iceberg orders, getting filled uh, with liquidity that's not in the limit order book, uh, we can uh, expose them. 
All right, we have some imbalance indicators for volume and book, order book imbalance, uh, and we also have a correlation tracker. Okay, quants, uh, you may need more than that, so uh, click here to learn more. Uh, you know, you'll want to connect to your own data feeds and proprietary indicators, uh, for example. Uh, so uh, just uh, we work with several quants, so just let us know. We're happy to work with you. Now, if you're new to Bookmap uh, or new to futures or uh, these markets and you don't have a data feed yet, well, you can click here and get a free data feed okay, from other providers, not us. We are not a data provider. Uh, and um, uh, therefore, you can get a 14-day trial of the data feed uh, and then 14-day trial of Bookmap. And, uh, and see if this is uh, something that uh, works for you. Uh, if uh, you want a complete comparison list, you can click here and get uh, all of the uh, uh, difference uh, uh, in the details here. Okay, uh, social media, you can follow us at uh, bookmap underscore pro uh, and get insight to uh, a lot of different information here. Okay, uh, here's Bitcoin, for example, and I'm going to show you that in just a little bit. Uh, and then uh, you can subscribe to our YouTube page. Okay, let me just go through some of the playlists here on the uh, home page. There are these Bookmap intro videos just to give you a feel for what's going on in Bookmap. Uh, features and components. This is going through the user interface, all the different features uh, in Bookmap and how to use them. Uh, that's another playlist here. You can click on the playlist title and that'll open up the entire playlist uh, like here and you can see all the different videos that are in here. Okay, they're usually pretty short uh, and go through uh, all the different features. Uh, order, flow, order flow video snippets. Um, these uh, uh, videos here are this playlist. Uh, it goes through the content uh, that um, we go through in detail on in, in the uh, advanced uh, analysis uh, order flow webinars. Okay, these are, um, it's phenomena that Bookmap is able to visualize, a very unique uh, way of visualizing the market in Bookmap as I'll, I'll demo in just a minute, but um, we'll uncover all sorts of activity here. This is what's gonna give you an advantage and this is where the rubber really meets the road because uh, you're able to uh, uh, understand what Bookmap is showing you and then how to use it uh, to trade, okay? That's gonna give you an advantage. All right, so that's uh, that's that, and uh, let's take a look at these markets here. Uh, wow, the NASDAQ sold off pretty quickly. Now, I'm just looking at a, a candlestick chart here uh, on a higher time frame, just to get a feel for what's going on in the marketplace uh, and what markets we, maybe we wanna look at here, okay? So um, let's, let's stick with the NASDAQ. We've been watching that for quite a while. Uh, and uh, let's jump over and look at Bookmap. Okay. All right. So this is the new Bookmap. Uh, this is a beta version here. It's not available to you yet. And um, nice stuff. Uh, I'm not even familiar with a lot of these yet, so uh, I am new to it as well here. Uh, and uh, I can go through um, some of the... Um, uh, questions that you may have here, but you can see immediately uh, right off the bat, there's all sorts of things going on here. Uh, a lot of enhancements. This is a major uh, upgrade. Uh, and um, uh, you can see the uh, colored heat map here. Okay. And uh, this is going to be, uh, a, a, it's a really nice feature. I, I really like it. Uh, you can see uh, these levels of high liquidity. Uh, they're going to be much more distinct in the, in the color range. Okay, so uh, that's what we're looking at here. Now, uh, before, uh, for those of you who are new here, so let me go through uh, really what you're looking at, okay? Because uh, uh, this information here, I mean, there's, it looks like there's just a, a, you know, a ton going on. It's impossible to, to understand and it's too complex. It, it's really not, it's actually the opposite. Uh, what we're looking at here are just three elements in the book map chart. Okay, the first is historical best bid and offer. Okay, in fact, I'm gonna go through it here and turn off everything else and we're gonna just layer it on. Um, boy, we have all sorts of things here. Just just great, new, new, new features here. Uh, okay, so we got nothing on the chart. Let's put on historical best bid and offer. That's it, that's all we're looking at here, okay? It's just, there's no candlesticks, there's no nothing. It is a, a very true view of the market. It's where it bid, 
and it's where it offered. And we're looking at it currently here in this window. Okay, this is the current best bid and offer. And, uh, and then this is historical view. Okay, and that's it. All right. Uh, the green line is the best bid, and the red line is the best offer. Okay, it doesn't get much more simple than that. Uh, the the nice thing about showing historical best bid and offer, though, is, um, well, I'll, I'll show you in a minute when we put the candlesticks on, uh, but we're able to see the microstructure. Okay, now the next layer of information, we're just going to add volume on here. Okay, and it, it, these these dots here, uh, it's it, these are transactions that took place on that historical best bid and offer. Okay, uh, and that's it. That's all we're looking at here. Okay, so... What this allows us to do, though, is is gain tremendous insight here just by understanding the volume uh, with within uh, uh, the microstructure. Okay, but let me just des describe what the volume is here. So it's very simple. So here's our simplistic view. If I just zoom in, uh, we're looking at uh, best bid is the uh, the red uh, the green line here. The the red line is the best offer, and then um, you can see these uh, dots here. Okay, these are the transactions on this on the best bid and offer. Okay, a green dot here signifies this is a market buy order. Okay, uh, they, they, um, uh, this trader or traders uh, wanted uh, in the market at this moment, uh, they pressed the market buy button, they crossed the spread, uh, and they took liquidity off of the best offer. Okay, if I zoom in here, I'll probably see maybe a few more transactions or maybe not. Yeah, there it is. Okay, so now we can see here uh, a, a few more transactions that took place. So this is really what occurred here. Okay, we're down at microsecond level, but we can see that uh, that that one uh, looked like one trade that took place for a volume of um, uh, of five is actually uh, uh, five different uh, individual trades that took place. Okay, this is how these markets trade. Okay. Algorithmically, there's many, that's why you see in your time and sales, a flurry of one and two lots go through, okay, because algorithmically you can do that uh, instead of the, the old days where uh, you'd see these block orders for 100 go through, okay. Uh, instead, you'll see 100 go through for one, one lot only. All right, so the, uh, that's the green dot. The red dot is the opposite. It's a, it's a cell. Okay, and it takes liquidity off of the best bid. Okay, so now that's just two elements that we have here on the chart. Okay, and um, now we're going to go into the uh, the third, and uh, that is the um, uh, where they're bidding and offering. Okay, and now we usually access that in a dome. Okay, it's um, uh, the dome is uh, uh, over here. Uh, we're looking at uh, liquidity uh, in the limit order book. And um, the uh, levels of, of liquidity where, uh, you know, traders are um, uh, lining up to buy or sell, okay? So it, the dome has also changed in this new version here. Uh, here's my uh, uh, dome here on the, um, uh, on the bid side, my depth here, okay? You can see the contracts here where traders are lining up here. Let's just zoom in a little bit more. And, uh, and then here they are on the offer up here. Up at these levels, and you can see my price uh, price ladder here. All right. So now the um, uh, you know it's great to uh, witness the the dome and understand the auction where where traders are lining up to provide liquidity. They want to deal at these levels. Okay. But uh, the problem with this dome here is that uh, it it doesn't record the data. Okay. Whereas Bookmap does. So we take this data here. And when you see these numbers change, okay, and, and they, they're changing all day long, uh, you can see them uh, bidding here, pulling liquidity, adding liquidity uh, in the marketplace, okay? That data is recorded on the heat map, okay? So really high areas right now, the way I have my color heat map, um, high areas of liquidity are red, okay? Uh, other areas that are um, uh, less significant are um you know, are, are, are dark, dark blue, okay? As, as the liquidity gets a little bit higher, they, it starts to become white, okay? And it goes, you can see my map up here. It goes from this dark blue to white to yellow 
and then finally to this red and deep deep red for really high liquidity okay so 117 contracts here and we're trading right into it right now all right so uh a uh, great, great new feature. I think you guys are really going to like this. Um, I already um, just uh, really embrace it. Uh, and uh, I think that uh, it offers real nice, subtle details in, in the liquidity here. Uh, anyway, the um, that's the uh, the heat map here. Okay. And and we take this data in, in this window here with our best bid and offer. You can see the graphical representation of the dome. That's what uh, is going on in this window here. So when the liquidity changes, this heat map is going to change. After, uh, at that moment, uh, right after it happens, though, it's recorded and is plotted onto the chart. So that's what we're looking at. And as I zoom out, that's that third element here. Okay. So we have historical best bid and offer. We have the um, uh, uh, the volume that traded on the historical best bid and offer. And, and we have the heat map, okay? So that, that's it. Uh, the, um, now, why this is insightful and, and why it can be so helpful, okay? Let's turn on some candlestick charts here. And uh, a candlestick chart, let's zoom in a bit, okay? And uh, let me uh, edit these candles here just a moment. Let's just look at a five-minute candlestick chart. Okay, here we go. Okay, so what Bookmap is allowing here is transparency into uh, these candles because these candles are not giving us uh, insightful information. They're very opaque. Between a five-minute period, all we're getting here is open, high, low, and close. That is it. Okay, we <laughs> we have no idea about. Uh, uh, looking at microstructures within this candlestick, really what composed uh, this price action here in this candle. Okay, we can see that uh, we came up here, we dropped from a range, it was range bound up here, uh, dropped down into a range and, and we kind of breached a, a low here, came back up and tested, and then we finally dropped here. Okay, but um, uh, all this kind of microstructure uh, is, is not shown in the candlestick chart. And uh, even even more, uh, the uh, the volume, uh, not understanding where the volume traded on this candlestick. Okay, not only where, but how much, exactly when, and what type. Okay, the aggressor classification. All right, so uh, uh, we're getting a tremendous amount of transparency just at looking at those first two levels, uh, and then we have the heat map here, which is a unique feature in Bookmap uh, that uh, other platforms just don't offer. Okay, being able to, to see uh, uh, where traders are lining up uh, and their behavior in the book. Okay, so we can start to gauge their intent at some of these levels here to trade. Okay, uh, their interest uh, in trading. So we can see there's uh, you know showing a lot of interest uh, to, on the sell side here. Okay, uh, around this uh, 6472 and then up here at, at, at 73 and, and 74. All right. <laughs> yeah, the chart got more cheerful. Um, so, um, yeah, anyway, uh, we can start to make distinctions as well. Like, uh, you know, this liquidity here, was it fake or real? Okay. Are they are they getting filtered or did they pull? Okay. This, these, these are things we, we, we want to know. Uh, and um, uh, we can we can look directly in here and uh, and, and gauge the uh, uh, the trading within these areas here. Okay. Some of the, a lot of this was pulled here. Okay, we traded up into this area here, and then uh, you can see that the transactions, 29 contracts traded up here. Okay, um, actually quite a bit traded down here, 123 contracts. All right, but that's on the that's on the buy side actually, so uh, it's kind of odd. Um, let me let me take a look at that again. Okay, no, that's correct. So actually, no, it's 107 uh, altogether. All right, so um, that's information we want to know, okay? We want to understand how the larger players are positioning themselves. And uh, that's the, the kind of transparency that we're going to get uh, using Bookmap here. 
All right. So um, yeah, nice, nice move here to the upside, filling these areas in. Uh, as you can see, some of these traders starting to absorb these larger players up here with that high liquidity starting to absorb. Okay. Uh, and um, uh, we can see the transactions taking place as well. We can make these volume dots a little bit bigger. Okay. There we go. Okay, not actually, uh, volume is not really telling us too much. I mean, it's definitely trending up in these areas. You can see the uh, uh, more volume at higher highs, which is a trend. That's that's the way order flow works in a trend. At some of these swings on the downside, uh, we see very little volume trading, especially sell volume. But uh, that's not so true uh, in this case. Uh, starting to note clusters of, of volume uh, on these uh, on these lows as well. Okay, clusters are selling, all right? So uh, I don't have a lot of faith in this trend continuing, uh, especially noting some of the areas here uh, of them uh, starting to get filled uh, on the uh, uh, on the offer, okay? So we're looking at uh, as areas where we're gonna come up and we're gonna look at, this is what we do in the advanced order flow webinars, is we look at the structure, okay? We don't care about the candles. Uh, we, we care about uh, the structure here. Uh, of um, uh, the the evaluation of this instrument, so uh, uh, we can see that we trended down here. Okay, something happened. Like uh, we we see buyers come in. This is what happened. Okay? We came down into these areas down here. Buyers stepped in right here, and this cluster of selling down here is going to be trap volume. Uh, and they came in and they lifted the offer. Okay, they probably. We're probably going to see areas in, in here of absorption on the way down, okay, as these larger players start to absorb. Uh, we don't even reach this higher level of liquidity down here at 64, 62. Okay, and the buyers came in and uh, they lifted the offer, and now they're they're filling the high liquidity on the uh, on the offer up in these areas. Okay, so um, uh, what we want to understand is how uh, traders are positioning themselves in this auction and their intent to trade in that auction. Okay, we know that uh, down here we, we saw that uh, they wanted to trade, and they did. Okay, and then uh, uh, some of these uh, higher levels, though, uh, we're, we're just coming up to them now, and we, we'll see. Uh, we might start to exhaust out on the buy side. Okay. Now, the, the structure uh, that I'm, I'm speaking of, uh, there's all sorts of different ways of looking at this. Uh, for those of you looking at volume profile, well, we have some volume profiles over here uh, in our um, uh, some of our columns. So, uh, you know, the, the uh, point of control here in this area, in this viewable area, is right here okay, at uh, around 74. And that's right where we're fighting right now, just to see if we're going to go higher or not. Yeah, thanks, Edson. Um, yeah, the color uh, and, and that high liquidity is going to really pop out uh, compared to the grayscale. And uh, that's going to be really helpful. All right. Okay. Um, you know what? There's something else I want to show here. Uh, and... Uh, I think it's... I think the Bitcoin for uh, CME is a BTC, uh, BTC H8, is it, I believe so, okay, this is something I wanted to show you guys earlier, um, uh, really interested in, uh, in Bitcoin here, uh, obviously, I mean, I think most of us are, this is, a, this is Bitcoin on the CME, all right, look at the areas of liquidity here. Okay, this is a futures product. Okay, it's not, uh, you know, the uh, it's a derivative uh, of, uh, of Bitcoin. Okay, so it's going to be used mostly for hedging. Uh, but um, uh, look at this. You can see the massive spread here, uh, 150 uh, uh, points. And, uh, and you can see the liquidity here. The liquidity is just really dismal here. One contract, two contracts, you know. 
I mean, this is, it's really, really uh, uh, thin. Now, uh, we also have the, the, the offering we're going to have for Bitcoin is going to be through GDAX. Okay. And here it is. Okay. It's completely different. Um, uh, look at the liquidity levels here. So, you know, we're looking at uh, uh, hundreds uh, of, um, uh, you know, Bitcoin uh, liquidity here. Yeah. Okay. Actually, I'm going to, I'm going to hide the, uh, well, no, I'll keep it for now. Um, okay, because we have a new dome here as well. Uh, I just want to simplify this, though, to, to show you this, these areas of liquidity. Like, look look up here, 8,000 contracts, 7,500 contracts. Okay, now this is really jumpy here. Uh, but uh, this is tradable, okay? Whereas uh, the uh, the one from CME right now is simply not tradable. Okay, it's a new product from them, so uh, maybe the liquidity will really... Uh, uh, step up, but uh, as it is right now, um, this is the way to go, uh, is through uh, this GDAX, okay, because uh, you, you can actually uh, start to trade it here. All right. All right, guys, well, uh, let's wrap it up. We'll call it a day, uh, and um, uh, I'll go over uh, more and more about this uh, new uh, beta version that I have right now. Uh, it's not available to you guys yet, but uh, it will be uh, in uh, in less than a month, it should be, and um, uh, start to uh, answer your questions about it, okay? All right, guys, have a good day, and we'll catch up with you tomorrow. Bye-bye.